We got a good chance of rain today, so it's seed planting time here at Hackberry Farms. And these fields we're planting aren't going to be for any kind of commercial crop. We're actually just planting a mix of seeds so we can use for a wildlife feed later on when it matures. And so we went to our local feed store and just bought a, a plain sack of milo off the shelf, a plain sack of just deer corn off the shelf, as well as some black oil sunflower seeds like you would put in a bird feeder. And so we're going to make a mixture of all three of those and then we're gonna plant it in these fields and hopefully we get a good rain on it today and tomorrow and it'll start off the germination. We'll get a good stand of it later on this fall. Now the seeding method we're using because we're trying to work quick is actually called the broadcast method. And what the broadcast method means is just that we're gonna broadcast the seed or we're gonna spread the seed out over the top of the ground and, or, and then we're gonna go back with a harrow and then drag over the top of the, of the seed and, and cover it with dirt, or just a thin layer of dirt. And then that way we get good seed to soil contact. Now the alternate way you could plant this would be use a seed drill. And we've got a seed drill, but it takes a little bit longer to set up. You gotta get a little bit better soil preparation. Now the advantage of using a seed drill though is you use less seed over Overall. we're gonna really dump a lot of seed on this because we're gonna have a pretty low germination rate but by putting a lot of seed on this we'll be able to ensure a pretty good stand out here as the season goes along now the way we did this is we came out and we plowed it yesterday and then once we plowed it we drug it with the harrow first to kind of break up any big clods we've got pretty tight ground here it has a lot of clay in it and so we had to break it up break up the dirt clods and then once we got our seed bed prepped, again, we plowed it and then drag over it again. We could have plowed it a lot, but it took some of the moisture out of the ground. So instead we opted to plow over it once and then we uh, came back and drug over it to really get that good, finely, good, or good fine dirt and good even seed bed. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drive over it with our tractor and we're gonna broadcast this seed out. And then the third step we're gonna do is once we broadcast the seed is again drag it again with the harrow to cover up the seed we planted we won't get 100 percent seed coverage but it'll be pretty good good enough to get a good stand again because when you broadcast you've got to use a lot higher seed rate we're actually on about three acres of land today we're going to put about 250 pounds of seed on three acres which is a lot but we're going to try to mimic mother nature because when mother nature grows a plant it's just going to drop a lot of seeds right on top of the ground some seeds will, will germinate some won't and so we're going to mimic the same thing there again broadcasting is a pretty simple thing to do it takes minimal amount of equipment all we've got a broadcast seeder that we got second hand that was on the back of our tractor runs off pto will sling the seed about 30 feet out so you can cover a lot of ground pretty quick and spread out a lot of seed in, in, a, in a really short uh, amount of time and that's our plan today because again we've already got one brief shower today more's coming we're working against the clock so uh, by using this broadcast method again you're going to put out a little more seed but you can cover ground really quick and because we're not using this crop uh, for any kind of economic importance we're just planting doing plantings for wildlife uh, it's okay if we spill a little bit of seed on the ground and the birds eat it beforehand but as long as we get a good stand and later this fall we'll have a, a, a really nice stand of, of plants out here that'll, that'll benefit the birds into the winter that's really all we're aiming for So it's been about a week and a couple of days since we planted and during that time we got a couple of good rains i think of almost two inches in all and they were really slow rains, so it really helped settle the dirt helped kind of break up some of these clods and really improve the condition of the top this topsoil out here uh just from a just from a, a structure standpoint but you can look around this field and see that we've got a good germination rate you know when you plant broadcast style you're just throwing the seeds out in random. They're just landing wherever they're going to land, and there's no rhyme or reason where they're planted. Now, that's kind of in opposition to more of a row crop style. You know, in, in traditional agriculture and where crops are going to be harvested, they're typically, a lot of them are planted in rows. And the reason for that is because, like, when you're growing cotton or milo or corn, you've got equipment that has to get up and down those rows to whether to either uh, manage the soil while the, while the crop is growing or even harvest in the end. But with this broadcast style, we're not going to harvest this crop for any reason. We're actually going to use it for wildlife feed as the seeds mature and they fall to the ground. And then when the season's over, we're going to till this back into the ground and help improve our soil a little bit by adding some more organic material to it. But for the reason we're using this piece of property for, this is going to be great. I mean, again, we're going to provide a lot of food for wildlife. Our ability to come out here and react quick to the weather conditions and spread the seed out really fast and get a good stand of it is really going to pay dividends in the end, especially in the fall when, this, when the wildlife is utilizing this part of the property more than they ever have before. 